Hey everyone, uh, I just watched a video by the Criminal Queer, I'm gonna link it down there in the underbar thingy. Excellent channel, sub to her, the only problem is she doesn't make enough videos. Uh, but she was responding to a video by the Amazing Atheist who made a video bashing feminism, not his first I believe, I think he's made one or two other ones. Um, and she was responding to it saying, no there are actually several good reasons why we should continue feminism because things aren't at a, at a place yet where we can let go of that. Um, and the reason why I'm making this video is because when I was watching it it had 14 thumbs up and 17 thumbs down. And that to me was hugely disappointing. Um, but that's what keeps happening in those kind of videos. Um, because apparently those kind of videos prove her point perfectly. They prove her point in that they bring out this large kind of unsavory underbelly of people who just deeply dislike women asking for equality. Because when you look at her video, really, point out to me the point at which she's hating men, at which she's denigrating men, at which she's somehow doing anything that's controversial. She just brings out some points, even if you disagree with some of her video, she's making those points in a very kind of objective way and she's making them in a very kind way. She's not being this nasty brutish feminist that is in the stereotypical kind of mind's eye. Yet apparently people feel this this need to dislike her video. Um, and I mean the first thing I want to say is clearly there is a need for feminism. And I mean, I guess you can call it something, you, you know, I mean, you could call it like humanitarian humanism and you just want equality. But the fact is the deck is stacked against women. Look at the numbers for women CEOs, look at the numbers for women politicians in high political office. I mean, most countries haven't had a female head of state. Look at um, women scientists in the vast majority of fields. And the thing is, the numbers are getting better. And hopefully, in 50, 30, 20 years, there will be a balance that is more or less equal. It, it doesn't have to be completely equal because, yes, there's quite a good chance that women won't care so much for certain areas and men won't care so much for others. But it does have to be a lot more balanced than it is right now. And then we can say, well, fine, that's done. But we're not near that point yet. So there's obviously still a need for movements that ask for uh, equality and that ask for or that try to change the perception of the genders in society to make it more acceptable so we can get more women into, say, government leadership positions and that also change the perception at the lower level so that we get more women actually being uh, raised by their parents to achieve those things. And I mean if you think that doesn't play any role then just look at how a lot of female children are raised in a lot of less developed societies around the world and the picture is very grim. Obviously they're not going to succeed and no apparently we have the evidence in the numbers that it's still not working out great in the West. It's working out very well compared to uh, recent history but it's still not at the point where we can say it's all done. Then the question is why? Why is there this tremendous hatred of, of feminists and women who ask for equality? How I see it is it's the bully effect. Um, when someone gets bashed, they always want to pick on someone um, to let out their frustration. So you know, when the the big kid gets bashed by his dad, he lets it out on the little kids he can bully in his class. The same thing goes on for adults a lot of the time. 
and it used to be that women were a good place where you could let out your frustrations. You could, you know, physically or mentally abuse them, belittle them, whatever. That worked out fine. Um, but now, suddenly, there are these people that are really kind of saying no. Um, and then, you know, suddenly people are building up these imaginary scenarios where women are keeping men down and they're the ones making us miserable. Um, and the same thing is going on not just with women, with all kind of disadvantaged groups, black people, Jewish people, whatever your preferred kind of disadvantaged group is, you'll find situations where the people that are, <laughs> that are uh, in a situation where they're suffering need to let this out on someone and they're going to look for one of those groups and that's why I th I think you find a lot of this kind of hatred against black people and Obama and Jews and all of that coming out again now um, it's because there is in fact something wrong with the world we have this huge rising tide of inequality which leads to people not being able to provide anymore. It leads to men who were traditionally in those roles being uh, emasculated because suddenly they're unemployed or they're underemployed or they're in a position where they just can't get the same level of respect that maybe their parents expected. And they need to let it out somewhere. And they can't get relationships because they're in this tough situation uh, so they don't have a wife or a kid to let it out on so who must be at fault it must be women somehow despite the fact that there's no proper evidence for this I mean if you look at society where are these women that are laughing at us from their I don't know ivory towers looking at men as <laughs> look at those idiot men it, it's it's all an it's all an illusion. It's all not true, but it's an excellent way for people to find some someone to let things out on, and it's obviously not the only way. Um, and I'm worried about it. I'm worried about it when it comes to feminism. I'm worried about it when it comes to the friction between racial groups or whatever else. To me. The problem is certainly not women or black people or white people or brown people. It's that there is a group of elites, and I'm not being conspir conspiracy theory here. It's just people with a lot of money who are very heavily invested in the status quo, who are accumulating all of the stuff and who are making it very hard for us to feel secure and to be happy within ourselves because we have the stuff we need and so we end up these alienated people who are just looking for some for for something well what's what's the problem well what's changed recently oh yeah there were those feminists they were Weren't they trying to change society? They must be the ones that did it. Or it must have been immigration or something. I mean, in Europe, you know, it's immigration most of the time. Um, you always pick this thing and that's, that's what changed. That's what ruined the world. That's not what ruined the world. More equality, more egalitarianism is not the problem today. It's quite the opposite. It's the other place you should be looking. Anyways, I cannot support uh, Criminal Queer strongly enough or uh, agree with her video more. Go sub to it. I mean, if you disagree, then, you know, go and write her a nice, pleasant comment about what points you disagree on. Um, but don't do the same thing that I've seen so often, that whole name-calling, that whole trying to denigrate women. The thing is, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes again and again and again, then I wouldn't be making this video. But I have. 
I've seen that, and I haven't seen the same attitude towards men at all. So that's why I made this video. That's why I hold by my position. It's solely based, not solely based, obviously it's based on the numbers of people that are in power in various places, but it's rooted firmly in my own personal observations of people um, and how people for some reason think it's okay to treat women and how they treat men in general. Anyways, Church of STFU, I'll see you guys all later.